Hello, hello, welcome back to more. Let's play Diablo 2! Last time we made it over to the outer cloister. Not to be confused with the inner cloister, which is actually an area. But, I blew through the Tomo Highlands last time, and I don't want to do that. I would like to go clear it out. Two reasons. One, items and experience, even though. Ah, oh, crap. Haha, -ha, we'll punch you to death. Hey, there we go. Actually, it wasn't that bad. And I'm gonna need a new weapon. I don't remember the other reason. Ah, my mercenary. That's right. She's only level nine, and I want to get her close to my level. I don't want her to fall too far behind. What did two of those just come out? So our damage is looking pretty good. Our mercenary is going to be doing a lot of the killing for us because they are really powerful early on. Oh, we got a boss. Jump! All right, all right. Ow. Spectral hit. Easy enough. There we go. You can heal your mercenary if you hold shift and press the healing button, whatever one you're gonna use. Man. All these ranged monsters really hurt. Okay. Healing, healing, healing. So, we got find item last time. Let's see if I can find this corpse. Here we go, so. Alright, we didn't get anything. Which is rather unfortunate. Had it worked, it would have re-rolled and we would have got a new set of drops from the boss. Like we'd killed him again. Normal, it's not really that big of a deal, but later on in like hell and stuff like that, it's really, really helpful. You're the one causing all the trouble. Oh, got champions. Ah, fanatics. Fanatics take, I think, two times damage, but they also do a lot of extra damage. So, be careful with them. Mmm, light healing. Yay. Okay. Oh, before I forget, this coming weekend of the 27th, is that this weekend? I will not have any videos up. I'm going to be going out of town, so I won't be able to record. Going to go visit some friends. Eh, it'll be fun. So she hit level... Yeah, she hit level 10. Good. I'd like to get her to 11 by the time I'm done clearing out doing this episode for today. I think we can handle that. Okay. Aha. So I finally got to download the Final Fantasy 13 2 demo. I know the game's coming out like next week, but finally did. Uh, it's not too bad so far. I do like it. Um, battle orders. So I was just looking. Okay. I was looking at the synergies for concentrate. It's um, battle system is pretty much exactly the same. It seems like to uh, 13, which actually had a really good battle. Did she just disappear? Had a really good battle system. Very balanced. It is complicated if you're new to the game, and I know a lot of people complained, like, ooh, they held my hand for, like, a lot of the game. Well, yeah, they kind of did, but it is also a really complicated system if you're, you know, I don't know. I mean, probably one of the more complicated ones out there, in my opinion. I mean, it, it takes a while to get used to, like paradigm shifting and like effective strategies using the uh, classes. I never really used the synergist, or not synergist, the uh, sentinel class, the tanking class, though that class actually makes a lot of bosses trivial, which you had a lot of trouble with. A lot of the later bosses are actually really, really tough in that game. They did add... What was it, like, 
mo like you can have monsters fill out your third roll or something like that. Which I was playing around with it in the demo. Seems interesting because you get a lot of monster choices, but with that, you know, with a lot of monster choices, sometimes it's not quite balanced. When you have too many choices, I guess. It's hard to balance or really differentiate a lot of them. Anyway, here's the pit. Fun little fact. In hell, this pit uh, here, the monsters in this area, the bosses and the champions, they can drop any item in the game if you're in hell mode. It's actually a really effective strategy if you're like new to hell. You have a, a pretty easy class like a necromancer. Just come down here and farm and you can easily get some pretty decent items. And mana shine. Yeah, the way the item dropping in this game works is actually, it's not so much based on who you're killing. It deals with like, there's like an area level and a monster level. And I can't remember exactly how it works. But the area level determines like what's possible to drop, I think. Uh, he's definitely, yeah, he's extra fast. Ooh, magical sash. How's my other belt doing? Oh, it's still perfect durability. I'll drop that for now. And we got a level. Hooray! We're doing pretty good on our life. So let's get another point to find item. Start getting that up there a little bit better. And let's put a point into... We'll do that. I'd like to get that duration a little bit higher. 30 seconds is a lot better. Okay. We're looking pretty good. How's our mercenary doing? Oh, she's almost a level. Just like of the other caves, uh, this place has two levels. And a spectral hit. I could just let my mercenary sit there, but where's the fun in that? Yeah, she's just tearing through them. I'm not going to complain. She's not going to be this uh, overpowered for the whole game. Unless I get really lucky and find a good weapon for her. Good thing is, mercenaries do not have any durability, so... Go to town on them. Ooh, a ring. I'm a little disappointed in... For Diablo 3, the follower system. You'll only be able to use a mercenary or follower if you're playing by yourself in a game. Which I can understand, so they don't have to balance it around you having four people plus four followers. But it also is kind of like, oh man, I really like having a person. Oops, wrong one. Get out of here. Alright, I need leap attack. <laughs> that is... Hey, you take care of him, Vasala. Doing a good job. Now, mercenaries... Ooh, small charm. They don't have any attack rating, at least what's displayed. I am not sure the formula about their attack rating. I'm sure they have something. But they have... At least it doesn't show on screen. A lot of the, uh, Diablo 2 has invisible stats, which you're not really aware of. Like the whole running lowers your defense, things like that cool thing about mercenaries is they get, I believe, two resistance for every level that they gain. They start out with a little innate, then they get, I think, two per level. So, you don't really, you'll need a little bit of um, resistance gear for them in the later difficulties, but not, not as much as you will for yourself, which is good. Because that's one of the biggest issues you have to watch out for in later difficulties. Hit them. There ain't nothing else this way. Yeah, we're gonna be... Uh, we're well ahead right now. Normally, I could be finishing Act 1 at this level if I didn't, like, clear everything. But, I did say I'd like to clear everything, so... I'm going to try and stick to it as much as possible. I'm not going to cover every single inch of every single area. That's just killing time more so than anything else. But as long as I hit the major areas and clear most of it, I think that's a fair trade-off. It's pretty sad my mercenary has more defense than I do. 
I'm a barbarian carrying a shield. Aha, level two. Great. Just like the other ones, it's going to have a couple bosses. We oh come on oh you are terrible come on Conan can you make that jump as long as we don't run into any range mobs I'll be good ah of course oh amplify damage keep them running keep them running and another one I woke up another one great oh she is. Gonna take care of this one first. Okay, good. And extra fast, that's not too bad. But that amplified damage is very, very dangerous. Double damage, but and dropped a buckler. <laughs> I love obliterating the monsters in this game. Okay, cool. We're looking good. Yeah, I reckon you shoot nothing. He is dead. Actually, he's alive now. Started a new game, so... And damage reduced by one... And nothing good there. Okay, well, I think we have cleared enough. She's close enough to 11. Let's um, go back to town, and then we'll take the waypoint back to Outer Cloister. And I'm not going to be able to make it to jail level 1 waypoint today, but I'll show you around. We'll do a little bit of clearing, which I'll just have to end up doing again tomorrow, but that's okay. More experience. Basically, what I want to do is I want to find the mouse. I think I can do that. Yeah, finish that yeti off. Oh, he can't come from behind. I can hear you over there shooting. You must have x-ray vision. Okay, there are three paths. One to the left, one over here, and then one to the right. Basically, one of them is the correct way. The other two, they have nothing. Just like that. I did see a rumor online today about possibility of Final Fantasy VI remake on the 3DS. I don't know if it'd be a 3D remake or if it's just be an enhanced like the PSP. Um, but certainly not out of the realm of possibility, considering it's been made on the Game Boy Advance. Though I think it'd be best if they did like a. Uh, thing like on the PSP that they did for. Okay, well, I found the correct passage. I didn't even say anything. We're in the barracks. Basically, it has a lot of the same monsters we've been running into already. Yeah, it has bone guys, devilkins, um, a couple new ones, which is probably in here, I bet. We'll run into one. Or how about in here? Oh, 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 come on. No, don't stand out there, you dummy. Come here. Oh, she got a level. Alright, well, they're not going to run around, so... Let's do this. Alright, teleportation. We can handle that. Keep them stun-locked. Hooray, we got them. Pick up that saber. Might have something decent on it. 38% enhanced damage. That's actually a lot of enhanced damage. Oops. Oh, one to two. Oh, nice. Cold damage one. I love that. That gives me permanent cold damage and ability to slow mobs. Oh, yep. Yeah. And new ones of these. We can handle them. Attack rating still at 95%. Ooh, well. Thanks. Okay, let's see. We... Okay. 
Oh, boss. Let's see. Stone skin. Ow. Hey, yeah, no problem, lady. Hunter's bow. No big deal. And let's use fine item on him. Nothing. Did I just pick up a mace? Why can't I use fine potion on him? Well, whatever. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's find that mace. Ah, uh, unfortunate thing about these guys is you cannot block. Oh, so yeah, immune to fire. You can run into it. Oh, that's it. The annoying thing about casters like that is you can't block or, or anything their damage. You can obviously move out of the way, but beyond that, you got no other choice. Oh, wait, anything in here? Nothing. Got to find it eventually. All right, well, we found the way to jail level one, but we need to finish off the first quest, or the quest in here. Which means, if it's there, it should be, yeah, that west side where I missed right over there, that's where it should be. Even though all the maps are random, when you've played this game enough, you kind of get an idea on where stuff spawns and how it's related to other other things. It should, I bet it's in here. Oh crap, I didn't want to open that. Uh, aggro these guys. Take him out. Yep, here it is. Alright. The smith. He's not that bad. He looks scarier than he actually is. Ooh! <laughs> As I say that, I get ripped a new one. Anyway. The Herodric Malice. I should take this to cool thing about it, 6 to 15 damage, it's actually a pretty good weapon. Well, let's use it. Yeah, it looks like a battle hammer. What's the speed on it, though? Ooh, slow. Never mind. Let's not use it. Alright, well, we found the Herodric Malice, which we won't return to Charcy yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Next time, I will probably meet you over at the jail, level 1, since I already found where it is. And we'll start making our way through towards the final quest, Andariel. I will catch you guys next time.